We are here with Mahabir Poon, who's with the Nepal Wireless Project, doing fantastic work helping connect communities that have not otherwise been connected to the internet. Thank you for talking with us. We'd like to learn more about the exciting work you're doing. What motivated you to start this project? Actually, when I started the project in 2000, around 2000, there was no, not a single telephone line in any of the villages of Nepal. So there was a great need of communication, you know, uh, system there. So that's why, you know, I started this wireless networking project to build some local communication system uh, in, in the remote areas. Uh, because I was working for uh, different, you know, projects, uh, community development projects in different villages. So I wanted to communicate with the villages. Uh, you know, without uh, having to walk from one village to another village. So that is that, that's, that was how this uh, project was uh, started, and uh, you know, um, that is the reason you know uh, that inspired me uh, to to do the uh, you know projects for to develop the communication system. It's wonderful. What are some of the biggest challenges you faced when you first started working on the project? The biggest challenges I faced was you know the technology. Because when I started this in two, around 2001, Wi-Fi technology was just emerging. And there were only very limited uh, equipment, uh, especially mostly the indoor wireless equipment available uh, to use, uh, even in the developed countries like America. And there was no you know, outdoor, long-range outdoor devices uh, to um, have uh, to build a you know, long-range uh, uh, connectivity. So that was the main challenge. Nobody believed that, you know, um, they should work because the the city that I wanted to connect to get internet access was uh, actually uh, 34 kilometers far with one big mountain in the middle. So so that was uh, why nobody believed that you know using the indoor simple indoor router uh, you know Wi-Fi router uh, would be enough to uh, connect. Uh, the, you know, my village uh, to the to the nearest city with the internet access. That was the main challenge. Uh, but uh, you know, we tried it. When actually, uh, we tried so many things uh, to make that work, and uh, we did a lot of you know trial and error methods. You know, and there's a lot of experiments uh, to increase the you know the 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 distance. You know, uh, uh, point to point link. Uh, you know, from the city, and uh, it took one and a half year for us to, you know, uh, get my village connected using the simple wireless, indoor wireless router. The only thing we modified was the antenna. Uh, that is, that was how it was. Is there any particular story that stands out to you when you think of the impact this project, this project has had for people in Nepal? Uh, in in two th around 2001, the area where you know, you know, I uh, I connected to the internet, no people, nobody had heard the word internet. They had no idea what internet is. You know, they they got to know about the internet only after you know we connected the villages uh, to the internet. Uh, so. As soon as we, you know, we get connected, you know, uh, the people started using the, the, the system, the, the, the network for uh, local communication. Also, we connected uh, our network to uh, the, you know, uh, the, 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 the telephone system of the, you know, uh, telecom company, you know, using like a VOIP for, you know, outgoing, for making outgoing call. So that was so, you know, that was so interesting for the people. You know, at a time when not a single telephone line existed in any of the rural areas of Nepal. So that was, you know, so what we did is, you know, we, uh, when, when we started these projects and uh, people were so, because before that, people had to walk, you know, a day or two days or several hours uh, to the nearest city to make telephone call and then just to make one telephone call they had to work and I, I did that uh, several years as well but as soon as we brought the, the, the network there 
and I connected it to the internet, connected it to the you know uh, telecommunication you know system. Then you know people were so happy. And after that, what we found that you know we could also use the system to get connected to the hospitals uh, in the city. So you know within a year we connected uh, the villages to the to the uh, hospital city hospitals and the, the, the people from the villages could talk to the doctors and uh, get some advice and medical advices and those were the, you know some of the examples of the very interesting you know, uh, you know benefits uh, the, the, the network for the internet uh, to the people and uh, you know, people were very excited well, Mr. Poon, thank you very much for sharing with you, us some of the stories and some of the background of the very exciting work you're doing in Nepal. Yes, it was, it was indeed very interesting at that time, you know. And people were, you know, you know, amazed to see, you know, how, you know, I mean, the villages can connect with each other at a time when there was no mobile services, not a single telephone line, uh, you know, in, in any of the villages in the Thank you very much.